So I think I'm starting to understand why they call Pei Yun Chin money. Only two more days until a queen is crowned in the queen city. So will it be Pei Yun or someone else who climbs up the leaderboard? That's the big question. I'm Hope Barnett and you're watching LPGA Now. Let's get into it. With six birdies and an eagle during her second round, I can't imagine a better nickname. Firing her lowest round of the year, the LPGA vet is searching for her first win. Take a look at this birdie on 12. For birdie, the 32-year-old from Chinese Taipei. She's trying to become the newest first-time winner on the LPGA Tour. And again on 17. Mm. Mm. And once more on 18. I changed our driver this week and it works very well. And um, I always change my partner. If anyone knows me, I might change every week, but I keep the same partner already uh, eight tournaments. So I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> So that's a second round eight under for the leader. And surprisingly, the low round of the day did not belong to Peiyun. Instead, Nasa Hataoka with a nine under. And check out some of her stats from this year. She leads in the most birdies on tour with 251. She's had 40 rounds under par and is eighth in strokes gained total. She sits at eight under on the leaderboard. And here are some of the top shots from the day. Maria Fossi sunk this eagle putt on 12. Oh, wow and Ronin Yin, who's tied for second, nearly holed out on two. Oh. And also tied with Ronin is Morgan Matro, who went low on the back nine. And then Ray Shin Liu finished with a birdie on nine. He does wonders for the rest of our year. So with those three at T2, we have Yuka Sasso and Charlie Hole trailing, but you never know what might happen on Saturday. So we have officially made it to my favorite part of the week, moving day. So tell me in the comments who you think is going to make the biggest move and come back right here to watch LPGA Now. I'll see you then.